Hello everyone, Dracovich here. Today I want to talk about what's going on with Sony and Helldivers. So, there's been reports, and it seems to be true, that Sony has been liberated. Helldivers fans, we've heard your feedback, and on Helldivers 2 account linking update, the May 6th update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for the current players beginning May 30th, will not be moving forward. We're still learning what is best for PC players, and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2, and we'll keep you updated on future plans. So they're calling for people to change their reviews. So it says uh, Sony has reversed their decision to move forward with account linking update. Helldivers, should you choose to accept this major order, please consider reversing your Steam review. Arrowhead has worked very hard to keep this game special, and you, the player, have shown both Sony and Arrowhead that your voice matters too. Let us restore Helldivers 2 on Steam back to its formal glory, and let us restore this community back to normal. Please reverse any negative reviews left for any other games that Arrowhead or Sony has worked on. Let's do better as a community and not do that again. So, well, first off, I don't really like that a moderator is telling us what to do. I don't like that. Because <laughs> these moderators are part of the problem. But, at the same time, I already had a negative review for Helldivers because of all the performance issues. And I didn't even care about them. That bothers me too. So then we go over to the actual tweet from PlayStation. This got 18 million views since today. Or since last night at 1.30 in the morning, for me. 12 o'clock for everybody else. In the East, anyway. And some of the reactions are pretty funny. Fan and devs won. Maybe next time listen to devs. Clearly Arrowhead is in tune with gamers. I don't think... If Arrowhead was in tune with gamers, this never would have happened to begin with. Now everyone can leave Arrowhead alone. This is absolutely insane. Another fanboy. I hope this le this is a lesson to everyone. We have power as consumers. The corpos are beholden to us, not to not us to them. This is true, and this makes sense. Right? We're still learning how far we can push the line. We will reconvene in the boardroom on Monday and devise a draconian plan to push past the line slower so that it's less noticeable next time. Sony's still learning since 1994. That's hilarious. <laughs> Are they actually learning? Democracy has been restored. Arrowhead be in that meeting like, I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> Great decision. I'm glad it got all sorted out. This is Bucky from Power World. Oh my God, it's the dev. However, it'll be interesting to see what percent of the Steam reviews actually change their review. This is a dev from Power World. That's pretty interesting. I uh, I did some some beta testing on Power Divers or Power Power Divers Power World for Bucky. Um, democracy prevails. Peace was never an option. <laughs> We made you bleed for this. Remember that next time you tee up some other stupid shit. Wonder if people will go back and fix their review scores. 48% mixed all time. Mostly negative 22%. Holy shit. 22% mostly negative. That's insane. Y'all better go fix those reviews for PlayStation. Absolute. That's awesome listening to the PC customers because your console customers were just defending and making excuses for this. That's so true, guys. That's so true. Good choice. Should have just made it an op a p optional sign up or sign in with a reward to lure people instead of mandatory force. That's how most people choose to do it. I feel like the line 
we're still learning what is best for PC players translates into we are still trying to figure out how to milk PC gamers in a way that won't backfire. Again, very true. Very, very true. Good, and is the game coming back to those regions without PSN? What about my brother and sister hell divers in those regions? Good question. I don't like the lack of explanation. Why did you want to lock players out of the game? That's an insane oversight. If there was a registration through the game for any territory, then sure. So it goes on and on, but you get the drift. We're gonna, I'm going to keep you guys posted on what happens next. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.